So Cassian Andor has finished its run on Disney Plus. It's 12 episode first season has come to an end and I felt it's time to talk about this here show. So let's talk about it. Cassian Andor. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. Okay, so welcome back to the channel everyone. If you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Come over and join in. Um, and do leave me a comment afterwards. I do reply to all comments um, as, as quick as I can. Um, the odd one does get missed. It's just the nature of it. But anyway, it's Cassian and Andor. Now, <coughs> I did do a review of the first few episodes when this series started. Um, I, I didn't feel the need to go and do any more than that. Um, I know that this show has been lauded over. I know people love it. Um, and they're saying it's the best thing that Star Wars has ever done. Um, but, but let's examine that, shall we? Um, this show is so far removed from Star Wars. You know, even the makers said they went in not making a Star Wars show. Uh, and that's that's very uh, evident in the visuals, in the, the world building of this series. Uh, there are no aliens. There are no droids. They're sprinkled in, few and far between. There are no Star Wars aesthetics. Instead, it's more interested in giving us aesthetics from things like Blade Runner, you know, and other futuristic films like that where they've been inspired. Now, I understand, like I said, what they're doing. Rogue One was a fantastic film. It really was for the most part. Um, and so now we've got a story focusing on the beginning of the rebellion. Yes, the very start, the early days. And we're following the character of Cassian Andor through this. However, Cassian Andor is one of the problems of this show. This is a character that's very uncompelling. It's a character that I don't really want to spend any time with. I didn't want to spend any time with it after this film here. Um, he's not a character that, that gripped me or grabbed me. You know, and watching this program as, as your sort of protagonist who carries you through the story um, this character it feels like you're, you're holding on to an adult's hand and you're being pulled for a crowd only you don't know where you're going um, you don't want to go there and you want to let go and get lost and don't make it to that end and that's what's happened here now like I said I didn't review any more than the first three episodes of this because Disney Plus dropped the first three episodes on the first day which made perfect sense considering how those three episodes played out not a lot happened yeah if they just played episode one one week episode two another and the third another week this show would have hemorrhaged viewers like anything um you needed all three of those episodes to sit together to give you a whole um before the show felt like it was getting anywhere the first episode alone felt like first and second felt like Cassidy Andor was just walking around in the dark looking over his shoulder every five minutes and that's all I got out of it um you know it, it, <sighs> This show is, is fraught with problems in its writing. Um, it's too long. 12 episodes is far too long for this here story. This story could have been condensed into six episodes. Right, it likes to draw stuff out. It likes to draw scenes out. It likes to give you a very repetitive nature in what it is showing you in its storytelling. You know, when Cassian Andor was on in that prison and they were building the things for the Death Star array. How many times have we got to watch them building the same item over and over and over and over again, episode after episode? It's not the only episode that does this. The episode when they were doing the, the heist on the, the coins, the Imperial Payday, the same thing was happening. We, we got too many shots and it was too slow moving, even though it was meant to be an exciting scene. It was like the same thing was being shown over and over again of them loading and loading and loading these coins and it's just completely unnecessary and, and that's what this show does right as an analogy right this lump of blue tack here this is a story element this is a plot point this is a story element in this show and what this show does is this it's your breaking point and that's what it's done um you know, I went into this show with my eyes open. Um, I went in looking forward to it. I went into it thinking, you know, the trailer looks really good. It really caught the aesthetic of Rogue One. And I was going to be getting something special. However, that never happened. It never happened. I, I can't think of one character that I've come out of this show liking. 
Yeah, I understand that this is for adults. I understand it's written for adults. I understand that the writers weren't even writing a Star Wars show when they wrote it. They did feel like they were trying to keep, it looks like they were trying to keep up with stuff like Game of Thrones in its writing and things like this and ultimately failed. This show took the fun out of Star Wars. Star Wars is fun. Fun characters, a fun, lively, vibrant, bright world um, inhabited by aliens, by droids. This show gave us none of that. It almost feels like this show took its budget, said we want to do 12 episodes. Well, here's your budget. If you want to do 12 episodes, you're not going to be doing mass CGI. You're not going to be doing aliens. You're not going to be doing droids. You're just going to have 12 episodes of, of a story exposition that is, is dragged out um, with uninteresting, dull characters going all the way through. I can't see anything, I can't see any worth in re-watching this show, I really can't. Um, it's, it's dull, it's dull. Um, and I can't believe I'm saying that about a Star Wars show, you know. Um, Boba Fett was bad, Boba Fett was bad um, and done some stupid, stupid things, but yeah, I don't know. You know, this show, it, it's... it's the other thing is, when I'm watching this show, I'm so bored with the story of it and, and what it's doing that I find myself looking at everything else. I find that the the, the clothes, the, the wardrobe in this show, I see people wearing things, modern day garb, garb that we would see people wearing on the street. And I'm thinking, Star Wars never done that, did it? In Back in the original Star Everything felt alien in Star Wars. Everything felt like it was from another world, even down to the costume design and all this. Yes, boots are boots, trousers are trousers, but there was something fundamentally different about it. But in this, you've got people wearing caps, you know, that you'd see older gentlemen walking down the street wearing and things like this, right? Not only that, in the final, final episode, I found myself, you know, and this is during the scene where, again, another element here, where you've got the parade in the streets, again, going on and on and on and dragging. I'm finding myself looking at my watch, thinking, how long is this episode? Get to where you need to get to. Um, and you get Bill Skarsgård's character talking to that girl who sat on the floor, one who's one of the rebels, um, and he's by this, he's, he's building this, 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 like these columns. And I'm looking at the columns and I'm thinking, you have brick layers. You have brick layers here um, on this planet. There's people who, they make bricks the same as what we make bricks. Yeah, I never got that from Star Wars. I never ever got that from Star Wars itself. You know, the Tatooine, when, 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 when Star Wars filmed in Tatooine, on Tatooine, you know, those shots there that were filmed in Tunisia, you know, that, that Aunt, Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru's place, it felt alien. It felt different. It felt not of this world, even though it was... You know, to our society, it, it wasn't, do you know what I mean? But this show here, I'm, I'm looking at brickwork. I'm looking at the architecture and thinking, wow. You know, they've got somewhere where people go and learn uh, labouring for brick brickwork. That's what the show done to me. Um, it, 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 uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by how how... Star Wars could go this way to be honest and, and I don't want to detract from people that love the show it's fantastic you got something out of it, it really is it truly is um, me however I didn't and that's that's my opinion of it um, you know Star Wars and Boar whatever you want to call it um, this show was dull it really was um, Star Wars is fun Star Wars was made for children not for adults you're bringing it trying to give it uh, you're bringing it into uh, to story elements that, that don't are not required in the Star Wars world. You know, I take my hats off to them for trying, and it can be done. It can be done. Rogue One proved that. This show here just dropped the ball. Uninteresting characters, um, overly long, dragged out scenes, repetitive nature of scenes, um, just not very good in my opinion. There we go. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Good or bad? Um, do you have any other problems I had with it? Um, let's have a friendly discussion. Like I said, um, you know, I, if you love the show, fantastic. You know, um, it's all subjective. Art is subjective. Um, yeah, but for me, it just didn't work um, for these reasons here. But there we go. This is AJ. Thank you for watching. Um, hit the subscribe button. Come join the channel. And I shall see you on the next one. 
Take care all and goodbye. <laughs>